they can blur you. Yeah, it's not it's not a big issue. So, so what does it make special that he is the son of God? Because all of the prophet called as son of God. Because he's begotten. What? He's the begotten son. David was a begotten as well. Um, well, <laughs> the fact that is that there have been prophecies that, or that there will be someone the Messiah is going to come. Oh, do you believe in Messiah, Messiah as well? I do believe Jesus is a Messiah. But do you believe Jesus is God? Oh, yes. Yeah? yeah? Oh, so that means you believe in Trinity? Yes. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay, according to you, is God all-knowing? Yes. Yeah. God knows everything, yes. right? Good. According to me, God is all-knowing as well. Is God independent? Yes. According to you? Yeah. Ultimate independent? Good. Um, God is independent, meaning he can do whatever he wants. Good. So, according to you, does God have a God? No, God is the God, right? He doesn't have God. Good. So, according to you, do you believe God needs to pray to someone? God needs to pray to someone? Yeah? No. Fine. I agree everything, whatever you said. Yeah? I do believe God is all-powerful. God is, you know... God is all-knowing, God is independent, God doesn't depend on anyone, God doesn't need to pray to someone, and God doesn't have any other God. Completely agree with you. Let's say that Jesus, you said Jesus is the God? You said Jesus is God? So, is Jesus all-knowing? Yes, he is. What do you think? But Jesus is not. But he knew that he was going to fulfill the will of God. But I'm saying, is Jesus all-knowing? According to the Bible, one disciple asking about the last hour, what Jesus replied. Did you see that? In the, in the Bible? Do you have Bible with you? Yeah. Alright. Go to Mark 13, 32. Mark 13, chapter 13, verse 32. What it says? Can you read it? So, but of the, the of that day and that hour, no, no man, no, not the angels which I have, the, neither the Son but the Father. Do you see that? Yes. Meaning Jesus doesn't know the last hour. Do you understand? Yes. So is Jesus all knowing? Very very simple question. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. know about this. exactly. So when Jesus doesn't know the last hour, we can't say Jesus is all knowing. First point, yeah. We done the first point. Go to the next point. Is Jesus independent? Is Jesus independent? No. Because every time Jesus asks to the Father, he does everything by the will of his Father, not by himself. So Jesus is depending to the Father. Do you understand? Going to the next point, this does God have a God? What you agreed? God doesn't have God. Does Jesus have a God? No. I'm not saying Father. Does Jesus have a God? Well, in the Bible, is God the Father, like capital M, is the same thing? No, no, no. I'm saying specifically G-O-D. Capital G-O-D. Does Jesus have a God? No. Sorry, sorry just walking by. What was the question again? Because I might be able to ask yeah, yeah. because I'm a Christian. So what's the, what's yeah, the question? Yeah, so we are... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. Is it show me where Jesus says I'm God? Is it that? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm saying, does Jesus have a God? Does Jesus have a God? Yeah. He refers to his Father as God while he's on earth. Mm -hmm. So he says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah, yeah, good. But the Bible clearly teaches that he is God as well. So where are we in, in, in yeah, Okay, as God as so, so first of all, yeah. let me finish this point. There's yeah. the Jesus said he has the God. Jesus has God, right? No, he refers to his father as so God. As, as what? As, as God. God, good. But so he refers to himself as God as well. Let me, Do okay. To show you? Let me, do, yeah, let me done with the first point. Okay. So he's referring the father as what? As, as God. God. Yeah. So Jesus has the God. What do you mean has the God? Well, he's, he has a father. No, God I'm saying well. he has a God or not. Look, you're trying to trick people. No, 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 not words. tricking, not tricking. The end of the matter is, we can show that Jesus show, showed his, himself that he is God. Mm, where? The Father's God as well. Where? Well, I'll give you, I could give you multiple, multiple. Yeah, which verses? Give okay, me. Okay, so we go in the wilderness when Jesus was fasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Matthew 4. Mm -hmm. Right? 
and he says one of the things he says to Satan uh -huh. is you shall not tempt the Lord your God uh -huh. now who was Satan trying to tempt to Jesus right so okay. Jesus referred to himself as your Lord God did he not uh, and and did he not? and yeah and, right. and and so who was Jesus referring no, to no, himself it, as? And and the homeowner was called as Lord and the God as well in the Bible. So according to no, this, no, no, hang on, hang on, not hang on. You, you, wait, don't, no, go, no, don't go past Matthew. No, 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 no. Okay, according to according to according to shall not tempt according to the, the Jesus. Jesus, according to the Jesus, who so is the that, according to the Jesus, who is the only true God. He, he is. No. His father is also. No. According to yeah, the yeah. Jesus, who is but the only true. I'm not skipping. Four. I'm not skipping. Let's go back to Matthew. No, no. Four. I'm not skipping. How can you explain that? I, I'm not speak, skipping. Oh, My question so is. We're talking about Matthew. Who, four who is the only true God? See, you can't answer it. No, no, you no. You have no. to go to something else. No, no. This is what these no, guys do all the time. It, Let's stick on it, Matthew 4. Matthew 4. What I'm saying. What did Jesus say to say it? I don't care. See? That's yeah. It. Well, that's it. So, you can't so according, according to the Jesus, who is the only true God? We'll go back to Matthew 4, yeah? No, according to the like Jesus... To, you like to keep moving on from that Bro, one. Can you, can you just... Just let him finish what you're saying, then I'll come in. Well, just speak. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, can you, can you speak with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go so, go we can continue with them, yeah. But what's the point? Like, I, I need to get the point, because... Alright. I don't know what's going on. Or why I'm saying... Yeah. What's we're trying to understand by exchanging information, yeah? You have information, I have information, yeah? yeah. You believe in Jesus, I believe in Jesus as well. You know what? I get that, but at the same time, he was talking to you. But you, you were saying, you was, it was giving a point, yeah. but you were not listening to him and you were just saying your truth. So, uh, to be honest, I don't want to argue, I don't want to do this conversation because you already know what you want to, like, you want to, like, um, you already know what you want, so you're not open to listen to me, to listening to us. Tell me, tell truth. me, tell me what, what I didn't know. I'm done. Because he said something, but you were not listening to him. Because he came to the conversation. We, I am it doesn't not. Matter. I, it doesn't matter. Cause so was saying do, you, do you think it's it's a good manner to interrupt without without any, uh, you know, we permission? Allowed, we allowed him to interrupt us. He wasn't interrupting us. Cause yeah, it was, yes. He wasn't interrupting us. Yes. We were not talking. Yes. So, so if you if you wanna if you wanna in. listen, if you wanna have a discussion, you can walk out. That's fine. That's yeah? what I'm saying. That's fine. We don't. We don't. So bye. You know why I'm, I don't want to have a discussion? Because you already have your idea, and you're not, and you're not trying to change it. And you can't, so you can't, I'm, I'm walking, I'm you can't prove what you're believing. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? He tried to do it. No, no. He tried to do okay, it. Okay, he, he has a discussion now. He tried to do it. He, didn't he has listen. a discussion now. He tried to do it. He didn't listen. But I've got a verse that actually says in Philippians two six that says, "Let this be in you, which was also Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought not, thought it not robbery." So when Jesus said, "The Father is the only true God," how can you explain this? The Father is the only true God. How can you explain this? Is the true God. Yeah, Jesus said, "Father is the only true God" in John seventy three. How can you explain this? Well, I believe that um, just like a person, we can manifest in different forms. Like we've got. No, no, no. I'm saying, spirit. how can we explain when Jesus is clearly saying, Father is the only true God? When we say, if, if you say, she is the only brilliant student here, does it mean any other brilliant student here? No. Well, I'm trying to say that a person, just anybody, if you look at us, we are not just body. We are body, mind and soul, spirit. We are all these things. Mm -hmm. We are also a brother. We are also a husband. We are also a sister. We are also like... What does it prove? Just, we are not just one person. Like, what does it prove? On our own. Like, I think there's some, someone actually said that we've got different masks. And that's the same with God. God doesn't reveal himself just spirit. God reveals himself also as the body. Because but in the Jesus Bible, never claimed he is the God. He never claimed because he is a humble person. Like we know So he hide he is not God. So how do you know that he is God? If he didn't claim, how do sure. So we know that God is humble. Um, if you knew that, if you know that God is the highest being ever, like in the whole of the universe ever existed, He is the highest being. Why would you have to claim that you are the God? Like it just defeats the purpose of His natural, of His humble nature. He knows who He is, and that's why the Bible talks a lot about the mysteries of the Bible because He will not sin. He's gonna let. 
Yes. So if, if you're going to read the if, Bible, you're going to meditate on the Bible, you're going to read on the Bible, you're going to examine everything. Okay, do you follow? You're going to examine every single thing that Jesus did. And it's only someone, I agree with you. And it's only someone who I agree with you. Has, but it's only someone who has a critical thinking can actually do I, the, can actually Have you finished? Derive, no, I'm not finished. Can actually derive mm. that, oh wow, Jesus is actually God. Okay. Because it's only through what he did, what he said, he is never going to produce. Okay. Because so he was going to should they follow what is what Jesus said? hundred percent, yes. Good. If Jesus said the only true God is the Father, should they follow this as well? But it's the way you're just pinpointing bits and bobs. No. But did you not see what he has done? What done? What he has done? Tell me. Did you, your prophet or God or... I believe Jesus is a prophet. What are you talking about, your prophet? Have I believe Jesus is a prophet. He raised people from the dead, healed the It's a miracle. And yes. I do believe in miracle. And I don't have any issues with this. That's wonderful, but that's what... I don't have any issues with this. I believe Jesus came from Virgin Mary. I, yes. I believe this miracle. I believe Jesus came with the miracle as Morajaza. I believe this as well. I believe Jesus will come again as Messiah. I do believe as well. I believe Jesus prayed to, this, to, to, to the Creator. I believe this as well. So why I'm saying, should they follow what Jesus said? Yeah. Yeah? So when Jesus said the only true God is the Father, should they follow this as well? Well, the Bible also says that in John 14, 6, that no one can go to the Father except through him. Yeah. So when you're saying John 17, 3, can you, can you explain the verse? Like the, the Father... Bible, but then the Bible also says that who is the beginning and the hell, who is the Alpha, the Omega. So yeah. That means that Jesus is beginning the, of what? Is the last. Beginning of what? And if he is God, he is the first and the last. What? So how can you, how the Jesus explicitly saying the Father is the only true God? How do you believe that he raised people from the dead, he performed this miracle? Because he is a prophet. That you cannot even do, but then I'm, I can't do, I am not prophet. I am. I can't do because I am not prophet. Well, I can. I can. Like. Can you do that? This, oh yes. Can you, oh, because can you give the Holy life? Spirit. I can do that. Can you give the, the life? Holy, really? Holy Spirit. Well, yes. How many give? How many people you gave the life? To Christ. No, no. You said you you can do what Jesus did. For example, yeah. give life to the people. Can you give? Can you do this as well? Give life to people. No, but the, to the but death Jesus, people. But Jesus specifically said that we can perform these signs. Yeah. So what? I cannot. Obviously yeah. Like what it? Me. Yeah. What it looks is that you read the Bible and ask what Jesus do what Jesus asked for. Because Jesus said the Father is the only true God, but you are saying the Trinity is the true God. What Jesus never said. Can you show me what Jesus said? He is the God, or the Holy Spirit is the God? Well, he did say that. Where? He did say that. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Where? He did say that he was going to leave someone who he wants us to consider highly than Jesus, which is the Holy Spirit. No, and you're not going to say my question. My why? question is, when Jesus is saying the Father is the only true God, why should I accept Jesus is the God? Because he... Well, why he, is he you're so fixated with one sentence and you're not, you're not literally looking at the whole reality? It's Did you read the whole Bible? Did you read the whole Bible? Read the whole Bible? I read the whole Bible. That's what I'm saying. Do you understand? So if you read the whole Bible, why is this so fixated? Okay, go to the another verse, yeah? Go to the verse when Jesus prayed and we agreed God doesn't need to pray. Why Jesus prayed? I've, I've tried to explain that before, but you were not listening. Alright, that's fine, yeah. You can take whatever you want. It's your belief, yeah? I don't have any issues with, with your belief, it's up to you, whatever you believe. But why I'm saying, in Islam, we believe in one, one God who doesn't have father, mother, children, or anything. We don't believe the triune God. We don't believe Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So what? What's the purpose of all For this, because all of this being the recording? Yeah, and everything, because you're not willing to actually, you, like you said, you have an idea, you try to stop random people, but then you're not happy with the answers that they give. So what's the point of this? No, no, no. I'm trying to understand if you, I'm... No, you're not trying to understand. You're trying to break. You're what? trying to destroy. Uh, okay, that's what you're trying to do. Who's faith? You're trying to break. Who's faith? What we believe in. We're trying to break the, the Bible because you don't understand. I'm putting the Bible's verse. No. Yeah? No, boy. No. No, go on. Take care. Take care. Walk off.
Yeah, don't upload the video. That's that's just.